Hey everybody, welcome back to Alpha Infinity Tech. We took a brief break from mining to kind of go out into the universe and test our new build and push it and see how well it does in 4K. And I'm just reminded about how beautiful this game is. But it is time to get back to work. And today we are going to talk about our mole configuration and why we believe you should be using that configuration on Lyria. But first, let's roll the intro. If you're interested in how we're getting great frame rates in 4K, our build details are in the description below. And as always, if you like our videos, please hit that like and subscribe and smash that bell so that you're notified when new updates come out. All right, on to our mole. So one of the first things that I always like to do with my mining ships is I change the paint. And I know that it won't keep you from being detected, but I just don't like bullseye orange on my ships or shiny metal paints. And as you can see here, I changed my prospector as well. And this paint might help you blend into the ground on Lyria, or maybe out in the belt a little bit better and make it just a little bit harder to shoot you. And it's a simple thing to do. So as always, we're gonna go back to Urkel.games and that is where we look at our mining configuration and test out different components, see how they are gonna impact the ship. One of the first things that we did is we changed out the power plant to something that's a little bit better. Unfortunately, we're going with an industrial size C because the size A, last I checked, was running like half a million credits. And that's just a little bit too steep for my tastes. Now, always change out the quantum drive if you can. You want to be able to travel faster from point A to point B, but more importantly, you want that cooldown to be as short as possible in case you need to run. And then in this case, we went with the Himera. We also went ahead and changed out our shields. As we've discussed in the past, it's always nice to have a little bit better shields on your ship in case you make a mistake or in case somebody decides to shoot at you. And so in this case, we went with the, the size two ramparts and that's what we decided to use on our mold today. For those of you who are not familiar with Urkel.games, don't worry, we'll put the link in the description below so that you can go try it out for yourself. And anytime you're outfitting a ship, we highly recommend that you use this. Now onto the utilities. Obviously we're putting the Lancet MH2 mining lasers in the forward slots. And the reason that we're doing that is because this laser, while not more powerful than the MH1, it does have twice the maximum range and optimal range so you can you can stand off those quantanium rocks a little bit further and that is really the big advantage to the lancet mh2 mining head now if you watched our prospector configuration guide you'll notice that i'm running pretty much the same things in the sub item slots that i did on my prospector we're going to be running brant and surge modules and the reason that we're doing that is because we really believe that those two modules, when they are working together, not only will the surge module save you time by getting energy into that rock, but the Brant module will help with those vertical oscillations in the charge window so that you're not overcharging a rock, especially when you're getting those really small green areas on Quantanium. We pretty much stuck with the same formula that worked for us in the prospector and transferred it to the mole. And there may be better configurations out here, but that's the one that worked for us. So we hope you like this video and we will see you again soon.